Today's topic might feel a little sensitive, but it's an important and fascinating part of human physiology, the male ejaculation reflex. The male ejaculation reflex is one of the fastest and most precisely coordinated reflexes in the human body. In just a few seconds, nerves, muscles, and glands all work together like a perfectly timed orchestra and once it starts, there's no stopping it. Let's break down what actually happens inside the body, step by step. Weiwei Science Channel brings you insights into human biology and uncovers how our bodies really work. If you like this channel, please thumbs up, subscribe for more science content, and share it with friends who are curious about science. Ejaculation isn't just a single event, it's a carefully coordinated reflex controlled by the nervous system. Once triggered, it involves two main stages, emission and expulsion. And the whole process is managed by a special set of nerves in the spinal cord, with some help from the brain. During the emission phase, sperm travels from the testes through the vas deferens. Along the way, accessory glands, the seminal vesicles, prostate, and bulbourethral glands, add fluids to form semen. At the same time, the bladder's internal sphincter closes, preventing semen from going backwards into the bladder. This stage is mostly controlled by the sympathetic nervous system, and it's when the body prepares semen for release. People often describe this moment as the point of no return. Next comes the expulsion phase, when semen is actually released. This is driven by powerful, rhythmic contractions of pelvic floor muscles, mainly the bulbospongiosis and ischiocavernosis. These contractions are controlled by the somatic nervous system via the pudendal nerve. That's why semen is expelled in several spurts, not just one continuous flow. Ejaculation is often accompanied by orgasm, the subjective feeling of intense pleasure. This involves the brain's reward pathways, with dopamine, oxytocin, and other neurochemicals surging. Afterward, most men experience a refractory period, a recovery phase when another ejaculation is temporarily impossible. This varies greatly from person to person. Understanding this reflex also helps explain some medical conditions. Premature ejaculation happens when the reflex is triggered too quickly. Delayed ejaculation is when it's harder to reach the expulsion stage. Retrograde ejaculation occurs if the bladder sphincter fails, sending semen into the bladder instead of out. So, the male ejaculation reflex is much more than just a simple release. It's a beautifully coordinated system between the brain, spinal cord, nerves, and muscles. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more science content, and share it with friends who are curious about science. Thank you for your attention. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop being curious about the science of life.